Hello everyone, and welcome to another Mac84 live stream. My name is Steve. Hi. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is a bit cold here in New Jersey. Very cold, actually. We had flurries and a bit of snow before, and yeah, apparently we, we missed the worst of it. But uh, hopefully everybody is nice and safe and warm and all cozy, even though it's a bit cold down here. Anyway, <laughs> we have some fun uh, in store for tonight. So let me uh, say hello to everyone and uh, make sure that I uh, properly do that. So let me <laughs> fish for the chat window up here. First, we have Jay from the House of Maul. Thank you very much for joining, Jay. Uh, we have Sad Mac 356 Always a pleasure. Uh, Michael's Workshop is here. Vintage Hillbilly Shack is here, which is always, always exciting. And we'll be going into a bit more detail about that in a moment. Um, Adam is going to stop by for a little bit. And uh, To The Games is here. Garth Beagle is here. Tom Barber is here. Colin is here. Angular is here. Eric is here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, so, I have uh, a, a bit of uh, fun for you guys today. Now, I don't even know exactly the condition of what I'm about to open. Um, it was sent to me by Jeremy, and I believe Jeremy is here in the chat. Why don't you give yourself a wave, Jeremy? Um, and uh, they had reached out to me uh, at the end of the fall last year. And uh, the story goes that they were in... Um, I have my notes here. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da, a salvage yard looking at parts for cars. And, uh, well, they stumbled upon a pile of computers. <laughs> and uh, these these computers are a bit worse for wear. I won't show you the, all the photos now because I don't want to spoil what's in the box. But we'll, we'll open what's in the box. There he is. There's Vintage Hillbilly Shack Jeremy himself. And hello, Chris. Hello, Lucas. Anybody else who joined? Hello, hello. And um, so... Basically, uh, we worked out a deal, and, and uh, he, he was able to kindly uh, offer these parts, <laughs> strictly parts, and you'll see. Um, I don't know if anything will be usable out of these, but we can at least take a look. Um, and they are uh, uh, just parts, so no cases or anything. There, there were some cases that didn't look too bad, but uh, brittle plastics being what they are, and the cost of shipping of this was already silly, so... Um, not, not, and, and not Jeremy's fault, obviously, because it is what it is, but, um, okay, so, uh, we're gonna open this box in a moment. We also have some other things to look at today. Um, actually, uh, met a cool friend, so I'm gonna, uh, oh, if I had, if I had the right thing up, that would be a seamless transition, but it's not. Uh, a friend of mine stopped by, a newly, uh, made pal who I was helping out with the system. His name is Keith, and, uh, we shot a selfie together right in this basement, right over there. Like, a few hours ago. So here's that photo. Uh, Keith is a very, very nice guy. Uh, we met um, online because he had a question about a Power Macintosh 8100 he was trying to fix up for a client. Uh, he also runs a podcast, or, and is a co-host of that podcast, uh, Computer Talk Radio. So go to computertalkradio.com. I believe he's on one or more podcasts on there. Um, and so I met Keith, uh, excellent, excellent guy, and... Uh, he actually passed along something to me that his client uh, did not want. So we'll take a look at that in a bit. It's big and bulky, and it's exciting. But that, that'll that be something fun. Uh, but first, let's focus on this box. So I'm going to see how I could position the camera here so we can get the best angle of this. Because uh, it's, it's going to be interesting. Now, I do have gloves because, as Jay mentioned, tetanus. <laughs> I don't know where this stuff has been. I'm sure it's disgusting. Not any fault of Jeremy's. It was left in the field. He didn't put it there. So let's easily move the camera here. And, uh, oh, it's not that it's not that bulky, Tom, but it's pretty bulky. There we go. So we have this box here that is sitting here. Oh, boy. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we're going we're gonna to open this up. So I guess we'll start the sides here. I have not looked in this before, so I, I, I know some of the parts that were found, but I don't know exactly what ended up in the box. So, we will, we will all find out together. All right. What's in the box? No, too small to be a molar back. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. This... <laughs> This is going to be interesting. We have a pillow, which 
will go in the trash because it was just used for padding. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's field found, all right. <laughs> oh, there's a hole in it. <laughs> that's the, that's, it is Garth, yeah. It came with the house. There's a freaking hole. <laughs> I don't know if that's factory or what, but there's a hole in the power supply. Uh, that's interesting. That's a uh, uh, model six one four zero zero six nine. Look at the nice rust on that. It's a birdhouse. <laughs> we can make this into a birdhouse. Hello, Patrick. And where's Bruce? Someone get Bruce's butt in here. He wanted to see this stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put the pillow on your bed. It's good for you. Yeah, that pillow is going in an incinerator. <laughs> Maybe it was found in the field too. <laughs> Oh, yes, the hole is for extra ventilation. I like that, Eric. My goodness. Yeah, that's that seems some moisture, I would guess. You know, just a, just a little bit of moisture, huh? All right, well, that's that's one. Um, you know what? I should get a box to put this stuff in as I take it out. Let me, let me go grab a box. Got this box situated here. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Jeremy. All right. Okay, well, the pillow has all sorts of stuff in it. Um, put that to the side. So we have a bunch of bubble wrap here uh, with some other things. Hopefully you guys can see and hear me okay. Uh, let me see if I can lower this just a wee bit. I think as close as I can get. Let me, I have to weigh this down. The Macintosh portable battery, perfect. Um, <laughs> since he sent his, yeah, I don't think Jeremy slept too well. He, he sent his pillow here. I don't know, Mike, we're finding out. Oh boy. Okay. Um, not sure exactly how to tackle this. Well, that's one way. Oh boy. Get my scalpel here. Great, thank you. <laughs> got you a new pillow. <laughs> His cats will love it. His cats will absolutely love it. Okay. Woo, boy. Well, that's the back to uh, a 90s Macintosh there. You can see there's quite a, a lot of uh, debris still attached to this from the field <laughs> oh look away sean you don't need any more curse in your house <laughs> i mean the plastic is has a notch in it but it's not too bad it's not not that too bad no yes uh jeremy did an excellent job on packaging thank you jeremy um oh, oh we have uh Oh, this was from the, uh, I think the, uh, there was a tower in there. Yeah, that's why I have the gloves on. <laughs> I don't have health insurance at the moment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> Let's move the trash under here. Oh my goodness. That'll buff right out, right? That... That, <laughs> that rust will just buff right out. I'm surprised the plastic is mostly intact. Wow. It it doesn't it doesn't smell too bad. It, do, it doesn't really smell too bad. It just smells like moistness. I mean, that floppy header is probably <laughs> the plastic is probably okay. Sean, how about this? You give me a disc of your choosing and I'll put it in here. How about that? Soak it in. I'm going to soak the whole box in apple cider vinegar. Oh, goodness. All right, what else we got in here? Well, we have a, a cable. Ah, yes. A delicious, delicious... 
delicious escape. Sorry, Retro Fox, look away. <laughs> Joe, look away. You don't need any of this. <laughs> look how rusty that is. Oh yeah, this this came from a field, all right. Look at look at that. Look at that. How did that happen? How did that happen? Oh my goodness. Well, there's some good there's some good copper inside, right? <laughs> God. Oh boy. Oh boy, it is. It is. I don't think I can fix it, Retro Tech. <laughs> oh goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, well, there's there's more here. I'm I'm very glad you uh you did send me the plastics because in their condition still they could be useful. Here's the back of what appears to be uh, a 50, uh, 5,000 series all-in-one, 5,200, 5,400, something like that. <laughs> yeah, Sean, I'll, I'll get right on that. L bring over your new MacBook Pro. <laughs> we'll use my USB to SCSI adapter. <laughs> oh, boy. My William Shatner impersonation is not so good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Deconstructed Max. Yeah, that's... I'll need a frame the size of my house. Oh, there's some some plastic pieces that have come undone. We'll put those all together with their friends. Um, but wait, there's more. It's a floor wax and a dessert topic. All right, let's try and keep all the shards together. Um, there's more plastic. Any anyone want authentic beige chips? Uh, authentic beige. Real, going once. Going twice. Five dollars. Okay. Well, there is a lot more in here. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh, okay. It's all wrapped. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> he got bits and pieces falling out. Oh, that's that's fine. That's that's fine, right? That's that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this poor processor. Oh, you poor little guy. Oh, don't worry. The cap didn't leak. <laughs> Woo! The caps didn't leak. We're good. <laughs> Belongs in a museum. So do you. Oh, poor little processor card. Oh, goodness. Well, if anyone needs practice soldering, you know. There you go. Oh, boy. What else is here? Oh, man. Wait, this actually isn't in too bad a condition. Look at this, an Apple Fast Ethernet 10100 T card. Look at that. Yeah, it's all rusty, but most of most of the pins look okay, especially on this chip. We should ultrasonic this. Maybe this will be the only thing that works out of the bunch. <laughs> I didn't uh I don't have one of these cards. Uh, assembled in 1997. There we go. That'd be cool if this actually works. Yeah, I don't have one of these. I mean, yeah, it's rusted to hell, but, uh... It's one of those capacitors I had to ID for Tom the other day. Help ID. Bruce did the IDing. I just took credit for it. Alright, that's... We're gonna put that aside. That might be... That might be a, a good thing. Oh, goodness. Got another, another cable. I I don't know what the hell this is for. I have no idea what this is for. It's like a lot of pins. <laughs> hey, Mr. McIntosh. Anybody else who uh, joined? Oh God, that's a, that's a stiff cable there. Um, 
part number or whatever number this is uh six seven four five seven zero 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 one rev a one six eight four seven a c t six three five twenty four eight w g my goodness that's big boy yeah it looks like for a pc or something i don't know anyway oh look there oh no there's a mouse in the box Oh snap, it's a power computing. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. No, you poor little guy. You poor little guy. No. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're gonna make it, buddy. You're gonna make it. <laughs> oh god. It's a it's <laughs> Power computing ADB mouse, seven A three one eight three nine. Yeah, these are basically Mac Alley mice. Oh God! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make a stew out of it. I'm gonna follow Dan's suggestion, make a stew. Oh God! <laughs> he can be saved. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. It's, it's all right. You're not going to feel any pain anymore. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to put you on the desk. You might be salvageable. Oh, my goodness. There's more bubble wrap in here than anything else at this point. All right, let's... Bruce, save us. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think I found out what plugged into that card. Oh, gosh. Look at that. This is a card. Duh. Um, trying to find a brand on it or something. Um, <laughs> what was the point of the bubble wrap exactly? No, there were some heavy things in there. What the heck is this? AMCC PCI matchmaker. Um, right? Barely make out some lettering on here. Oh my goodness. So give my ultrasonic cleaner a workout, I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> it is a card. I don't know what it is. It has, has this huge connector on it for something. That cable that came with it. Um... I'd love to know what the heck this card is for. If anybody watching this in the future has any idea, well, let me know. I have no clue. It's for something. That's that's all we know. It's for something. Yeah, but that card looks different, Mike. That's a radio, um, a different one. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's see what else. It looks like we have some bigger fish to fry here. Oh boy, you ready for this? Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh man. Um. Okay. Yeah. So this is from a, uh, I believe, a G3 mini tower. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, this smells so damp. So damp. Oh my goodness. Uh, wait, where's the processor go? Oh, wait. No, this isn't from a G3. A G3. This is for... Uh, yeah, this is from a 7100, 7500, something like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> the battery's still in there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, we got a stick of VRAM. And some memory. They, they look okay. These caps haven't leaked. That's a bonus, right? That's a bonus, right? Um, we will test the battery, of course. We'll we'll, uh, we'll do that. There's there's another another thing in here. Oh, yeah. This is this is uh this is a G three. This is a G three mini tower board 
with some extra leaves. That's bonus. Those are bonus leaves. Um, there is a processor on here. Again, this smells extremely damp. Wow, look at that. All the metal off of the video connector is just gone. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, none of this stuff is touching electricity. Right. Oh, oh, you know what? If this seal is broken, the warranty is, is void. Wait, the seal isn't broken. Wait, we can bring this to Apple. Hey, Apple, <laughs> could you could you fix this, please? <laughs> it's still under warranty. <laughs> oh God. Well, I'm gonna take the batteries out because we have to we have to see. I mean, this stuff was left for dead in the field. If we could get any of this to like be for parts or whatever, then why not? Uh... All right. This is the this is a battery. Come on. It'd be hilarious if that held a charge. Oh, it's just so much like dust, crud. Yeah, these will have to be like put outside and just blasted with air. Um, most of the pins on these chips look like they're still connected. Most of them. The ATI chip looks like it's missing a pin. That's a problem. Like, if that could clean up these boards, they may work, but things things with a, a pin missing. Oof. Well, you know, I mean, it's still good to, like, you know, get this connector off here, or this, or that, you know. Stuff like that. Oh, boy. And, uh, yeah, we have this LED connector. Bunch of memory. VRAM might be salvageable. My goodness. My goodness. All right, let's take out this battery here. <laughs> Blast them with the hose. They already got plenty of water. All right, so that's battery number two. I think that's all in the box. Jeremy, let me know if I missed anything, but I think, I think that's it. Oh, wait, there's a... There's one more thing. Yeah, I was curious what the heck this was. Some type of scanning attachment. The Light Lid 35 for a Microtech scanner. Anybody have a Microtech scanner? I found your adapter. I found your adapter. <laughs> this is an attachment for a, a scanner, that a flatbed. This is a model number light lid three five for use with MRS series scanners. So there you go. If anybody has one of these that, that would attach to their flatbed or whatever, let me know. It's yours for the price of shipping. <laughs> oh God. Oh boy. Well, Oh boy. Well, this was found in a field, a field, a field, a salvage yard. Oh, goodness. Well, thank you, Jeremy. I feel like I almost got my shipping price out of it. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, why, why spend money on a nice dinner out with your wife when you could spend $60 to ship a box of uh, rust? <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Uh, well, these will have to be cleaned outside. There's no way I am uh, getting dead leaves and dead bugs all over the basement. There's enough of that in here already. Um, I'm just looking at this. You know, it, it doesn't seem so terrible. It, it really doesn't. You know, it... No, vintage hillbilly shack. Don't feel bad. This is I'm having I'm I'm laughing and having a blast. Uh, don't feel bad. Um, no, this this is uh, this could very very unlikely could be salvageable. Would it be worth the time and effort? <laughs> no, but it could be salvageable. Who knows? The processor is probably okay. That's a 266 megahertz G3. I could read the label. 
So there you go. Uh, it looks like that's a uh, ROM SIM or a cache. Yeah, that's a ROM DIM. That's what the slot says. So we have the ROM there. Uh, we have no video memory. This is the uh, whatever board that is, the uh, uh, voltage transformer, what, what you call it. Yeah, Bruce, you want some you want some boards, Bruce? Bruce? You want <laughs> Bruce is like no. Oh boy. This one uh, appears to be in, in worse shape because there's just dirt caked into this whole thing. Let me let me give you a better view of this. Let's allow the camera to take its sweet time to focus. Um But just look at look at that. Oh, come on, camera. I'm giving you like an hour to focus and you're just like staring into midair like, hey. oh, oh, now you're focused? I pull it away. Now you're focused? Yeah, so there, there is some video memory here. Uh, there is some main memory. We do have a lot of rust. A lot of corrosion, I'm sure. Uh, but the batteries didn't leak. So how about that? How about that? So... This is uh, going to be a fun one, I'm sure. I mean, I could use that connector on my clone. <laughs> and then we have a power supply, a floppy drive, a processor cord, some beige plastic pieces. We have this, which is some type of interface card. If anybody knows, in the comments section watching this five years from now, let me know all the uh, markings that would have made sense are gone <laughs> all the labels are gone oh this oh this 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 plastic holding holding this chip on is just wobbly wobbling around oh yeah poor yeah poor thing you hate to see that happen well Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the ultrasonic cleaner can do to them. I'm not going to do that now because everything will take forever. But um, the interesting piece is that um, I'm curious about is this. I do not have one of these Ethernet cards, and uh, be curious if this will clean up. I mean, I could I could see some rough areas, but overall, it's fairly simple in its in its construction. I mean, there's a lot of dirt on it. I think that that might clean up okay at least we'll have a working ethernet card maybe and you know what this mouse will probably work got all the pins there i'm very sad <laughs> that the power computing logo is is tarnished forever but that's that's not anyone's fault that's but mother nature <laughs> in fact let's i'm curious now let's get uh Just get some alcohol here, see what happens. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> this is not doing anything. <laughs> it might have eaten in in into layers i i can't tell <laughs> yeah i'm gonna we're not gonna clean anything today because i i need to you know what that'll be nice when the weather's good guys we'll have an outdoor stream and it'll just be me in a garage with a bucket of chemicals <laughs> That's right, Colin. Just a little bit of retro brunt. Clean that right up. <laughs> How's it going? Glad you're here. Oh, boy. I mean, that's a shop mouse if I've ever seen one, right? Right? <laughs> that's not a clean spot. That is like a burn mark. <laughs> it's been shot. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Vic, I will say that the PowerPC version of FWB's Hard Disk Toolkit um, is on Macintosh Garden, version 4, 
also has the has the disk copy uh, software. So I'd use that if you, if you have like OS eight or later or OS eight point six or whatever. Um, I think that'll work. But yeah, if uh, why don't you email me mac eighty four tv at gmail dot com mac eighty four tv at gmail dot com if you're looking for that particular uh, flavor of software. Um, there is a, a copy on Macintosh Garden. I don't know if it works or not, but uh, yeah, I'll be happy to to share that with you. I know what I have, darn it. This is a rare power computing Macintosh clone mouse used by Jean-Louis Gasset to strangle John Scully. I know what I have. This is Scully's blood here. I know what I have. <laughs> Bidding starts at $5 million. <laughs> oh, God. That must be like oil and rust. and oh God. I mean, look at this part. This, this part's fine. Absolutely dandy. My goodness. Well... As much as it would be fun to tinker around with the rest of this stuff today, um, I don't have the, uh, the setup to, to clean all these these goodies right here. And we have to move this away before my wife sees this part of the stream and asks me why I'm bringing this stuff into the house. Otherwise, I'll be murdered. So, um, yeah. They're used for controlling hardware, like for science and manufacturing stuff. Oh, Garth, thank you very much. That's really cool. I, I'm not going to plug the mouse into anything. I'm, I'm pretty darn sure that works. I, I don't see why it wouldn't, really. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a mouse. They're pretty damn hard to kill. The screws are all rusted shut, but we'll open it up. We'll clean it up. If if anything, we'll do a, a nice little non-live video of me restoring this. And there we go. No, Tom, it's a bad idea. Stop! <laughs> uh, picked up a smart disk firelight case. Those, William, are those, those are those those bright red ones that are firewire. Uh, hoping to put a 320 gigabyte drive in it. Are those firmware locked or should be good? I have never owned. Oh, it still clicks. I've never owned one of those cases, but firmware locked as to what? Not recognizing a different disk or something. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you're trying to get at there. Um, all right, so yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. We'll take the gloves off for now. The gloves are coming off. Um, so to recap, we have two Mac Logic boards, we have two PCI cards, we have a power supply that looks like it got a gunshot wound to it, some plastic, some cables that are not long for this world, a rusty floppy drive, a rusty uh, power PC card of some flavor. And, um, yeah, yeah, so, um, 2.5 inch, yeah, uh, I mean, it should work as long as the drive connects, it, it, the worst that can happen is it doesn't, but I would, I would try. All right, so there is something that I do want to show off that I got from my friend Keith, who I mentioned earlier on the stream. Um, let me get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to put the Be Right Back music on just for a moment, and I will be right back in a moment. Let me just move this out of the way.
Okay, we're sort of sort of back here. Hey, Ron. Yes, please like the video if you have not done so already. That tells YouTube that we're not a terrible channel and to have people find us and things like that. So I want to show you something I got and I'm going to show you something else. Uh, and then between that, we'll test these batteries. Oh, I touched them. Uh <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so look at this. Look at this. It's an Apple Style Rider 2. This was not found in a field, thankfully. This was well taken care of. I did not have one of these printers before. I had the Style Rider 1, and I do have the uh, 2400 and the 2500. But look, look at that, how nice it is. Um, it is uh, in pretty darn good shape, I will say. Um, I don't think I have the ink for them anymore, but look how pretty it is. Look how pretty. <laughs> So I'm going to put this, uh, let's see if I can move this, oh here, here's what the inside looks like. If you've never seen one of these before. That was your favorite Mac printer. Well, I've never owned one of these before. I really do like it. I, I actually saw one on Facebook Marketplace. The shipping was way too much and the uh, Apple logo had been drilled out or fallen out of here. Uh, and I thought, uh, you know what, I would like to have one of those if it ever came up. And lo and behold, my friend Keith was dropping off something else, and he's like, oh yeah, they had this printer too, and I'm like, oh, Style Rider, yay! <laughs> yeah, I did look I did look up uh, the uh, the Canon cartridge for this, and I couldn't find it on the website that I was just ordering some ink from. However, I'm sure I could find it on eBay or something like that. Um, yeah. So, that's going to be uh, a fun little thing to play around with, because I actually wanted to show this in... Um, in a video that was related to machines of that time period. And I went to look at the Star Riders. I'm like, oh no, I don't have that Star Rider. But I think the, the bottom of this, oh, I see that it's sort of off its track here. Well, that's not gonna be fun. Oh, that plastic is sort of bent. Let's see if we could, there we go. We got it all sorted. So this, this tray comes out like this. And then like that. So, you know, when your pages come out, they just sit like that. Let's see which one this is. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, so what, yeah, whatever the Canon compatible, yeah, BCO2. Um, I was ordering from, uh, what is it, LD Inks. I just like their name because it reminds me of Laserdiscs. Um, and uh, they had, uh, they did not have this one. It said they were no longer taking orders from it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Greatly appreciate it. Let's see how your inventory system is going. No, wait, don't. It'll, de it'll only depress me. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyway, this will this will be a nice little little printer to play around with. Let's see if you can get... Th there we go. Look. Look at it all pretty. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So... Let's uh, put this aside. I do have something else to show you guys, and that is, um, I need a sp spot for this. Hold, please. All right, before we bring out the other thing, I promise I'd test these batteries. So these are the batteries that in the, in the field found uh, computers, field find. I'm gonna have to correct that, my grammar bad. Uh, so here is, here are, grammar bad. Here are the batteries from those field found Macs. Um, let's see if we have any voltage on any of them. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be fun? Um, all right, so place your bets, folks. Is this going to be completely dead? Or is there going to be some voltage left in this? Give me a huge super chat. No. <laughs> Tell me. No. Take your, take your guess here. What do you think this will be? It's gonna be dead as a doornail, or there's gonna be some voltage in it. William says 0 0.0001. That's a good guess. I'd say that's possible. Good as new. One volt. Joe says zero one volt. Mr. McIntosh says 0.3. All right. Brrrm. Drum roll, please. Ah! <laughs> it uh, she's dead. <laughs> she's dead, Jim. Oh, you poor little battery. Well, you know, you're, you're going to go to that, that big battery depository in the sky. Goodbye, my friend. 
All right. Sorry for the crotch cam there. Um, it did. Let's try the other one. Do we think this one's going to be equally as dead? <laughs> you saw slight voltage for a second. It was like, nah, I'm done. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh, I tried. It's going to be Marchantosh 2022 volts. Thank you, Ron, for the super chat. Eep, thank you very much. Oh, this one's dead, too. Uh, and this has a date of it. Oh, don't roll away. I'm not touching with my bare fingers. This has a date on it uh, ending in 90, uh, 0897. So that was from August of 97. Uh, do we have the other one in here that I could fish out without going through all the crap? No. Oh, wait, there it is. And that was uh, uh, 1296. So, some good finely aged batteries there. Sincerely dead batteries. Now, I hope this next thing is not sincerely dead. I hope you could, you could, you could see this. This is what my friend came to drop off to me. This little guy is a Radius Precision Color Display 17-inch CRT monitor. It looks quite small, but it's a bit of a chunky one. And, um, oh, let me just put this down. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Makes me look terrible, but the monitor looks so good. I do not know what type of a tube is in this. It is in pretty darn good shape. I have no clue if it works. We will be testing it. <laughs> the chat stickers. Yeah, there's these little, like, I don't know, little babies. Uh, they're kind of creepy. They're kind of really freaking creepy. And there are, like, these sayings on here. We're going to take a look in a moment. Um, the back uh, has these BNC connectors. You can't see because the chair is... I mean, it, look, it sits perfectly in the chair. It's perfect in the chair. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, very nice, Colin. I'm, I hope it is. I hope it works. It has those BNC connectors at the back, so I'm not 100% sure if I have a cable that'll fit with it. But what else are we going to do in the stream? We're going to find out. So let me point the camera closer to this monitor. Uh, because uh, radius stuff wasn't cheap, so if they use a Sony Tomb, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Look at these creepy babies. That's creepy baby one. Get a good look at them, um, because they're going to be destroyed soon. Uh, this was a friend of mine who services new Macs, uh, had a client that uh, needed an 8100 fixed. So they reached out to me, I contacted them. Lo and behold, they had this monitor, they didn't have the cable for it, and they were just trying to see if their 8100 worked, so I lent them a monitor and some stuff. And I said, look, if you don't want that radius screen, I'll take it off your hands. And that's how it came to, to be mine. So it was a very, very nice surprise. Uh, having a meal alone cannot taste good? Don't tell me how meals are supposed to taste. That's... That's sad. Let's all live long. Okay. Oh, that's just... Oh. oh, these... Why would you want to look at these all day? I mean, I'm sorry, but... Kind of creepy. At least in my, my opinion. I don't know what this one says. A dangerous... What? I don't know what the heck that says. Hold on. Let's manually focus this... Uh, part of that sticker's falling off. Something about danger or something. I don't know what these stickers are showing. This one's so freaking creepy. Oh, we're just... We're get, get, get out of here. Oh, oh, they're hard. They're like... They don't want to come off. Oh, they're going to reveal the true color of beige. Yeah, look at that. Oh, gosh darn it. That's the problem with stickers. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna show, it's gonna show the damn outline. Oh, oh God. <laughs> we'll just, just put that back on there. You know what? We'll, we'll just cover you up here. There, so your soulless gaze doesn't uh, bother me anymore. <laughs> I can live with that. That's fine. That's 
that's that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We'll just you know. There, you got a little smile there. We'll just cross out whatever that was. We're just fixing it. We're we're fixing all this. <laughs> Retrobrite it with the mouse. <laughs> Oh God, this is this is awful. So, I guess we're gonna have to test this out. This is gonna be the creepy baby monitor, um, but uh, painted over the value. No, I think I increased the value. I think I increased the value. So we're gonna have to find a cable for this thing because, uh, yeah, I didn't plan this far ahead in the stream. <laughs> So, uh, this has uh, BNZ connectors on the back of it. I think I have uh, one cable that's actually a Radius branded cable on the other side of the basement. So let me go grab that for a second. You could stare into the soulless gaze of this monitor and the cursed babies on it. Um, uh, Garth says the controls on the on it look very similar to the Apple 20 inch multiple scan display. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they if they just like Radius uh, Apple, you know, just bought another type of a display and just put their own case on it and branding and such. But um, let me go see if I can find that cable. I think it's well. Uh, I have one plugged into this Sony Trinitron behind me. I'm hoping I don't have to disconnect that. Let me just go see real quick. Uh, enjoy your 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 beautiful monitor looking. I'll be right back. That's quicker than expected. I'm scared, guys. I'm finding things pretty quickly. Quickly, don't tease us, Ron, with things that we might not know. Thank you. All right, let me put the camera back on this mount thing, my jig. All right, so, um, yeah, we have this VGA cable, and it has uh, these plugs on it. I think this came with a different display I got uh, a few months ago. And that display was all sorts of bleh. But, um, has all the BNC connectors there. So, oh, thank you very much for the, uh, the details there, Ron. I would have kept the stickers on if the resale value would have stayed increased. Oh, hey, Elemento, you got the exact monitor. Excellent. So you got a precision color display 17. Then you can help me decide if this cable's going to work. <laughs> so I have uh, VGA on one end, or at least what looks like partially VGA. Uh, and then a bunch of these cables. So we're going to see um, if there's any life in this. I'm going to have to put this on the on the table behind me. Um, but I'm going to have to clear some stuff off first. Because there's no room for it right now. Let's let's get you above looking at my, my legs. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put this here, I guess. Um... Just give me a moment. I have to figure out where I'm going to put this stuff that's over here. I need like an infinite supply of shelves and bins because that's what my life has come to at this moment. You probably can't hear me, so I'm just mumbling to myself. What is he going on about again? Oh, nothing, dearest. Just ignore him. That's the strange man on the TV. Now we have to think of a computer that we want to plug the damn thing into. All right. Okay, let me just put these tools away before I lose them. Should leave the monitor on the chair. <laughs> that chair is not going to hold the weight of this monitor forever. It's a very cheap chair. All right, so let's move this monitor. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh boy. Oh god. That's small but dense. I hear some plastic rattling around inside. That can't be good. This was originally paired with an 8100 uh, that the person had. So, there we go. Multimedia powerhouse like that should be plugged into an 840 AV. I agree. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Steve's back surgery. <laughs> yes, let's start that already. I'm going to actually grab the above camera here that um, shoots from above and see if we could get that on a tripod because uh, the little webcam I have is not going to be able to do anything justice. So uh, There is going to be flickering, assuming this monitor works. It's going to be flickering a plenty. So if that is anything that you are sensitive to, my sincere apologies, but there's going to be flickering. Let me see if I could grab a tripod here that is not being used. Um, that also has the, the bracket on there. Oh, why do I always lose those brackets? Oh, here it is. Thank goodness. <clears throat> All right, so just some housekeeping here. It's my first camcorder I ever shot a Mac 84 video on. The Canon uh, Vixia, or however you pronounce that, HFR 500. Got it for all of fifty dollars. Place of marathon. <laughs> oh boy! Last time I bought a CRT and then played a game on it, uh, it turned out that the the monitor just shut itself off. And that was an Apple CRT. <clears throat> that was fun. No, it wasn't. All right, let's get this cable here. That's not too bad. Let's step over the cable, not on the cable. <clears throat> and let's go there. Oh, it doesn't look pretty. Eep! Well, hello, Rudy. And anybody else I missed, I'm sorry. We were just poking around here. Um, Vic the Victor, hello. Anybody else? Hello, hello, Jack, hello, Nick, hello, Super Pac Man 256, hello, Elemento, hello. Alright, so <clears throat> we have this beautiful monitor. I guess I should plug it into power first before doing anything else, but now that it's on the table, um, we can take a look at it and hopefully you guys can still hear me as I'm going over here. But let's let's take a look at the back of this boy. Oh! Oh, did you hear that? Oh, I guess it doesn't want to turn that way. Oh, that plastic. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I right, will just we'll just turn it manually then. Oh, that. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't like that crunch either. Well, at least it's still stable, I guess. All right, well, here's what we have. Let's wait for this to focus. Come on. So that's the model there when the camera decides to focus. Oh, you could do it. Come on. There we go. Yep. And we got the lovely BNC connectors here. That was a totally normal crunch. You're right, Sean. bunch there September 1994 I can't focus it's a camcorder it decides what it wants to do and I'm just here living with it all right so um, <laughs> back to the left now it's gonna be fun remembering where these cables go uh, Pardon my big fat head. Here's my phone. I'll need that as a flashlight. Yoink. 
Oh, he's hideous. Let's, let's zoom out here. You know, no, that's in. Nick, you always ask what dates were like. At this point, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Look at a magazine from around that time. That might be helpful. All right, we have RGB, HD, and VD. So I believe that's red, green, blue, horizontal sync, vertical sync. So we will uh, match everything up here. Red. Green. Blue. Uh, horizontal and vertical are in different orientations on the cable, but sure. <laughs> See if you did it right. <laughs> that would be no. <laughs> the answer would be no. I know, Ron. You, you gave me that talk when we were here last. When you were here last. And then there's a 2000 ohm or 75 ohm selector. And there's a service button and a service port, which is like a little uh, serial port. So that's cool. We're going to leave it on uh, 2000, I guess. Why not? Oh, boy. All right. So, um,. That's the cable we got, a VGA cable, U75. Well, let me see what it's what it's set at. Uh, let's get it. Let's get a flashlight here. Oh, it is currently set at 75. I misread it because I'm an idiot. Okay, so it's set at 75. Now let's choose our victim. I mean, the computer that will be plugged into this thing. Um, I don't know what I should plug into this. Um, I have a, a very cranky G4 tower, which is probably dead. I mean, it's not dead, it's just stupid. So we're going to plug it into that, because if anything happens, I don't care. <clears throat> Now, if any of you are my patrons, you may have seen this G4. I was trying to do a birthday Mac OS X anniversary stream, and this piece of crap kept failing with like three hard drives the whole damn time. <sighs> so, its curse will live on today. And if something happens to it, which I doubt, I don't really care. So that's plugged into the G3. The drive killer, yes. <laughs> Bruce, stop it. <laughs> All right, let's move the monitor without making plastic, crappy, creaky noises again. Oh, God, these babies. So many babies. Okay, so we'll need some power cables. I will keep the surge protector here. So if anything explodes, we turn the off button. <laughs> Thing you should have five million of, Stephen. There's one. Uh, two. Two power cables. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, I actually reached out to Sean asking about SATA solutions because uh, that is probably what I need. 
only fitting a beige cable goes to this. We're going to turn the power off because... You need Mike's shaky table for that monitor. Yes. If anyone wants to buy me a better table than this four foot folding table with a piece of plywood on top of it, you're welcome to. But this is the biggest table I can afford. And you find the reason to mock me? All right, so it's a Simpsons reference. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me because if anything uh, exciting happens, you'll be the first to see it. All right. Just stepped on some plastic. Okay, so I guess we should turn the monitor on first. Whoop! Monitor made a noise. I have an idea. One second, please. There we go. Now we got we got picture in picture. Okay, so hi. And there's a leg, I know. So if this thing explodes, you'll see me going away. Alright? Let's let's hope it doesn't. Alright, so I'm gonna turn the Mac on first. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> That's a, a noisy boy. It's doing a lot of clicking. Oh, hey, look at that. We got a picture. <laughs> look, at, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Of course, this stupid Mac uh, decided to eat all of its hard drives. Mmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. In fact, I know this is sacrilege, but it's the only uh, machine I have within reaching uh, distance here. Which in re within reaching distance? Wow, Steven. Maybe those angel babies are the only thing that was holding this thing together. I have a PC laptop here that I think has a charge in it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You've been charging for days. Why are you dead, you piece of crap? All right, hold on. Uh, a Think, uh, uh, what is this, uh, ThinkPad, uh, whatchamadeely? I know you can't really see it. That's not the point. The point is I'm going to plug a monitor into it. It's making noises. Those happy noises? Oh, ho, 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 there we go. Cool. Yes, 
So let me uh, let me get in a position where I can show you the ThinkPad. This is a uh, X201 tablet. The only reason I got this is uh, to draw because it has a you know, Wacom uh, display, wherever you pronounce that. Um, There we go. So whatever I had, see on this screen is mirrored on there, which is neat. All right, so let me see if I could if I could uh, bring up something interesting to show. Resolution not optimal. Okay. Well, let's see something here. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, I originally bought this tablet to do uh, drawing on, and uh, well, it works great. It it it's uh, not something I use too often. Sorry, I'm just trying to zoom in without overdoing it. <laughs> the Sonic CD intro. I ought to look cool on it. Hey, look, there's us. <laughs> I didn't know I got Amscope ads on my channel. That's pretty cool. Oh, Garth, I didn't see your super chat. Eep, thank you very much. Hey, I can look at the super chats on here. <laughs> oh, gosh. It was the only thing I had in hand. I'll skip my own ads. This is awesome. Look at this, it's beautiful. Oh, I tried to pop out the chat. There we go. Look at your comments. Very, very cool. So, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little monitor. It's just a stupid operating system. Just ignore it and, and look at the content that's not there. <laughs> that's not Windows. That is a pretty darn good monitor. Very sharp, too. Let's see what resolutions it could do. So I'm going to change it back to uh, uh, the non-mirroring mode. And it thinks that it can do, well, hold on. This is two, okay. So it's calling a generic monitor. Yeah, the resolutions it states are not exact for this. Um, yeah, the monitor is very bright. Now, there are some menus on here, I think. Um, can't get anything to come up on here. Okay, never mind. I, I don't know why those buttons don't seem to want to work, but... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Go to like 1600 by 1200. Let's see what happens. Oh, I heard it whine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at all those teeny tiny icons. Wow. I think 1024 by 768 is the lowest it goes. Yeah, I don't see anything lower than that. So that might be the lowest for this setting. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, we're just we're just poking around here. Let's see. I'm gonna shut this down. 
now that we know the monitor works, we could tinker around with the Macintosh, okay? Hold, please. Yeah, it didn't go to 640 by 480. It just went to 1024 by 768. But I wonder if that was a PC thing. Uh, hold on. Let me go grab a machine. Ah. Uh, just uh, wait a moment, folks. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. No, Colin. No, no. That's for a few years from now. <laughs> so, um, I do have a Macintosh 2 SI, but I brought that over here and just realized it has that funky uh, video uh, preference with the sync on green and all that stuff. So that's probably not a good... Well, what the heck am I doing? I have this, I have this right, right over freaking here. There's a Quadro 800, right, right here. Nothing easy. We even have the VGA adapter right here. Oh, Steven, you silly, silly man, you. My perfectly normal, perfectly stable Quadro 800 which has no problems at all. I don't want to hear it, Bruce. And there goes a pile of crap that was unfortunately placed on top of it. Oh well. The tangle of wires, gentlemen. Ladies, terrible, terrible sight. The whole machine almost fell off the desk. How nice is that? Uh, I do need a keyboard with a long cable. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of like a, a little mark, but it's it, I think I'll just clean right off. This keyboard will just make epic. That's fine. That's and you know what? Well, uh, we'll get a mouse that's not diseased. Try this. 
this little trackball thingamajig. I, I don't want to touch that with my bare hands. No offense, but I, I, I can't afford a tetanus shot right now. Was that a big pop or was that just me walking away? Well, the speaker doesn't want to work in the quadra. That's that's probably fine. Yeah, the VGA cable was just the, the one that I had. Uh, why isn't this behaving? C quadra, I made it. Oh, there we go. Wait, maybe, kinda, sorta, hopefully. Hey, there we go. That's what you wanted to see, right? Yeah, I'm not spending $30 on eBay for a radius cable. Oh my gosh, that is crisp. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry about the refresh rate and the flickering, but all this trackball <laughs> leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, I can't go left or right. Are you serious? Let me see if I could clean this a little bit. Oh, that's broken. Well, that explains why it doesn't work. Well, I need a better mouse. Here's a good old Apple mouse. Use that one. Oh no, he's hot plugging the ADV. Someone call the authorities. Woo! That is sharp as a tack. You can't really see the color balance and the contrast. This cam this camcorder does not do it justice. Yeah, this is not gonna flicker good. Oh, well, it's flickering, but let's see. No, I can't even go to all. But <laughs> not flicking. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this is nice. I didn't expect it to work at all, so that's cool. Let's uh, restart. Let's do uh, system seven. Well, thankfully, other than the power supply, the Quadro 800 doesn't need a recap. <laughs> You're hired fast. Okay, so in a the video I did, Sean, the dummy Newton video, I printed out a fax as a joke from the like Back to the Future, like you're hot, you're fired that fax, but it was it was a you're hired fax as a joke, and uh, I printed that out on this machine, and uh, that's why there's that that document there, which I think is a Claris Works document, behind the scenes behind the scenes info. Uh, no, we will never register. Sorry. There you go. Important business co. <laughs> You're fired. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so 
I keep things authentic. That was authentically printed out of Image Writer. Oh my goodness. My goodness, my goodness, goodness. That is pretty damn cool. Let's see, we got, uh, we got some Star Wars screen entertainment. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show. System 712. <laughs> the sausage just made. Read my facts. You are terminated. Oh, boy. Yep. And yeah, you read that correctly, folks. 139 megabytes of memory. <laughs> maxed out. Absolutely maxed out. Video stuff. What's in here? Oh, these were like clips. Yeah, these... I don't think QuickTime is installed on this thing. Yeah, let's reboot to 7.6. I think that's where I have most of it. But 7.1 just flies on here. I think it's in... Uh, yeah, System Picker here. Because I have multiple systems on the same volume. Sean, if you come over, you could attempt to install Linux on here. I will I will provide nourishment and nutrition for your 18-hour stream. If you want to try and put Linux on here, you're welcome to try. <laughs> Bortle chiz. Joe, you, you feeling okay there, Joe? You feeling all right? Done and done. <laughs> All right, you set a time and date, Sean. We'll make it happen. So we are running system 761. Yeah, somebody made some strong sticker decisions on this, uh, on this monitor. Oh, we have some imagery here. Photoshop 4.0, baby. Yes, Adam. The answer is yes. I wish you could see how crisp and bright this is in person. The camera is really not doing it justice. <laughs> the power of a 3368040, folks. Oh, don't worry, Sean. You come over here and make a video about it. Just mind mind you walking on the floor. You might trip over something like Mike did. Just be careful. <laughs> All that to open this image. <laughs> All that to open this. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, let's let's open it at a larger size. Uh, let's do like five inches. Tripping on treasures. That's that's the name of our new podcast, Sean. Oh God, the little small camera. You just see my knees. That's terrifying. This might take a while. <laughs> Rasterizing generic EPS format. Da 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 da. I'm terribly sorry if you're getting a headache because the flicker. There was absolutely nothing I could do about that. We're not using my fancy DSLR that could sync to that or anything. You'd um, <laughs> be jammed, man. Um, yeah, so I, I will give you a break. Whee! Oh, God. Cute cam. Sorry, Joe. Hey, look at the pretty, pretty Max over there. There. Sorry, Joe. 
I, I will send you a vomit bag. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We'll do some artistic pans. Ooh. Oh, let's, let's look at all our friends who sent us stickers. Sean, I'm sorry your sticker's not here. It's upstairs. I have to bring it down. We got a We're Number One sticker. Well, that's a, that's a button or a badge. We have a Ron from Ron's Computer Video sticker. We have a Blue Scuzzy sticker. We have a This Does Not Compute sticker. We have a Radius Color Systems sticker a button. That's very, very, very fitting. Okay, and then we have our Ross Scuzzy magnet. We have our Apple Saves the World Independence Day magnet uh, button, whatever the heck it is. Um, ooh, I'll have to look into that, Elemento. There's Joe's sticker, of course. Ask me about rebates and rewards with a Newton and a quick take and Apple Design speakers. Why the heck not? Let's get personal by Asante. The Apple Company store. And then we got You Say You Want a Revolution by Radius. And it's one of those reflective fancy stickers. Going all the way up top. <laughs> Star Wars cartoon droids <laughs> button. <laughs> uh yeah, there's, there's a bunch of crap up there that I don't usually film because it's a bunch of crap. Look! iPod socks! Dun, dun, dun! Dun, dun, dun! Dun, dun, dun! Yeah, there's plenty of room for more. Alright, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. There. Our beautiful EPS have been loaded up. I know that's exactly what you came here for. Wow, this tripod's terrible. I'm sorry. I have to buy a new one. Uh, there we go. Good night, Rudy. Take care. All right. Now we have a slightly enhanced graphic. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm going to give this monitor a bit of a rest and everyone's flickering brain and vision a bit of a rest. But I got to tell you, it's beautiful in person. Absolutely beautiful. And I have something else uh, we could look at. So let me shut this machine down. Turn that monitor off. Oh boy. You stand up. Get back at the desk here. Hi. Why do I feel like I'm sitting on something I shouldn't? Well, it's just the chair. It's a weird chair. It's a very weird chair. Sorry, I was missing the majority of everyone's chats. Uh, the second radius button would be fitting. If you play by the other. Oh, why is this stupid camera doing this? Sorry, hold on. Maybe. Really? You want to do this now? There we go. Hi! Um, <laughs> what are we plugging in all those grungy boards? I'll save that for when you've come over, Sean. You want to take this shot too? <laughs> Oh gosh, we've gone for an hour and a half, and we just played around with the monitor, really. We unboxed some things, too. Um, yeah. Let me catch up on the chat here. <laughs> Your perspective looks like you're strangling all of this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> someone will that'll come back to bite me. Uh, sorry, let me just catch up here. Filmic Pro. I'm going to take a screenshot of that because that sounds exciting. Um, I don't know what's next. I'm just catching up on the chat. No, I'm not testing that network card until it's very thoroughly cleaned. I'm not testing any of that stuff until it's extremely thoroughly cleaned. That that involves taking it outside and blasting with air. Um, yeah, so um, I do have a Radius mug for those of you who caught it on the shelf. Um... Yeah, I didn't really plan on anything else. Um, I do have another box to open. Well, kind of. I, I think I know what's inside of there, but let's do it. Uh, let me uh, 
move something so I can go grab that. It's very old. This bad boy. I know a lot of you commented and questioned me on this thing because it was featured in the video that went out not long ago. I have not opened this box yet. I hope that the graphics tablet is inside, but I have absolutely no idea what's inside of this box. So we're going to learn together. Let's make art. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I'm going to move this CRT so I can put this on the table. Uh, uh, let's see. Well, actually, wait, I could, might be able to fit it on the desk. What's with the Viking dude on the box? Yeah, I don't know. He's just kind of there. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, let's see if I could move all the stuff out of my desk. This just might fit here. I'll take one art, please. One art, please. I know Joe wants it, Elemento wants it, everyone, Adam wants it. Everyone who's seen this thing is like, I'll just, you know, if you don't want that, I'll take it. I'm like, why do you think I, 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 I got it? <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to use our keyboard tray as a shelf. Okay. And everyone's going to have to put up with my gut. My very girlish figure. All right, so here's that Viking dude. Oh, come on, you stupid tape. May hold it at an angle, maybe. Oh, reflective things are fun. Viking container, San Jose, California. So it's, it's basically a box certificate. Viking box certificate. Very, very strange, but okay. This is a Viking. I'm going to name it Tom, just because Tom decided to come back. <laughs> Your radius might wander off. I had to put a bolt on everything. All right, let me grab this, this stand so we're not getting puke cam all over Joe. All right, so let's put the camera like that. Okay, now we just have to be very careful about what everyone is seeing. So we have Apple Computer here. We have uh, this equipment is marketed is marked to a waiver of the FCC rules part 15 there's no interference blah, blah blah okay let's see oh there's more on the back Frederick computer products Maryland so they're they're probably no longer in business I would, I would guess um, oh look at that this uh, says Apple Computer Incorporated and it's like an imprint of the original label. That is really cool. Oh, come on. That is neat. Fragile must be Italian. <laughs> All right, let's let me just put this back on here. So, sorry for the, the shaky cam, guys. This is a larger box than I have uh, a right to mess around with on my lap, but we're gonna, we're gonna get through. Yeah, it's like a carbon paper type dealie. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I have not opened this. Oh my. Oh my. Oh wow. That's cool. You have the plug. <laughs> Register my warranty. Oh no, you know my serial number. No. I wonder what's underneath this thing. 
See, I think I think you need a special card for this. I don't know if I have that, which is unfortunate. Oh, well, I don't have to worry about that. Look at that. Let's put this back. I just set it and it magically appeared. Wow. So there's the pen. And here's the card. Wow. And so where does this plug into on the card? Is there a spot? Or is this plug into the Apple II itself? Whoa, man, this is cool. Graphics tablet interface card, copyright 1979. Holy crap. 1979. All right, what software do I need for this? I am so tempted. To, oh wait, there's a there's pins on here. Do I just plug this into here? Like Yeah, there's a there's a little thing right here. Here we go. Wow. Now I need an Apple II to plug it into. <laughs> Well, Adam, if you want to, uh, you want to talk to me over our video here, I'll go grab an Apple II somewhere, and we'll we'll see if we get to work, huh? How about that? Uh, I don't know if I have an Apple II within arm's reach. Oh, that's right. I was recapping the power supplies. Uh, I was recapping the power supplies. Uh, poopy. Poopity poop poop poop. Um, yeah, let me see. Hold on. We might be able to do this here. Uh, let me let me bring this out of the box. He's recapping for the children now. This box is really neat. I'm gonna put everything back. Well, I, the 2GS power supply I have is fine. I just have to uh, fuss with it a little. Um, if you're, <laughs> don't look down there. Um, if you don't mind waiting, I'd be happy to. So the, the power supply is done. It's all recapped, I haven't tested it yet. But the Rifa caps are like, I have to put new ones in because they were bent and they don't allow the power socket to fit right back in. I have to remember where I put the thing. Eh. Um, mm. Well, I don't, but I have my floppy MU, so at least if, if we have the, the disk image, I could load it onto here. That's not a bad idea. I could just do that. Um... um I know, I know. All right, let me let me see something here. And I have another 2GS, but that might that might just be a shell. It's hiding by the 2SI here. This feels too light. I don't think this has a power supply in it. All right, well, we're missing a power supply, but I think I know where that is. Let me um, let me go find that. I'm gonna put the BR back screen on. Go get yourself a drink or something like that. I will be right back, and we'll see if I could find this power supply. I, I have a, I have an idea of where it is.
Let's hope this is the one that actually goes in there. Um, why did I screw it up? Did I, did I put the roofers back in this one or I did, did I, well, let's open it up. Sorry, the music stops after like 8,000 minutes. Um, hi. I'm just going to open it because I don't know if this is one I, I recapped already or not. Move this back so you're not up my nose. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, well, maybe you could fix it, Justin? I call Photoshop. I was, I doubted myself too. This might not be the exact one though, so. I mean, it probably will still work, but. I'm pretty sure I left the other one still in parts, unless I actually replaced the reefer caps and I don't freaking remember, which is very possible. I can't remember how to open this damn thing. Adam knows. It's more fun to just watch Steve break his uh, thumbs. Do I have to remove these two from here? Because I have one that's completely dead. This might be the power supply from that. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Adam's just like, no! What are you doing? No! God, no! As the Apple II community cries in terror, he doesn't know what he's doing! And you'd be very right to assume that, because I don't. I have no idea. Thank you, Adam. That's what I was thinking of. So we got, yeah, it's like two L shapes here. Always fun in a power supply, you know? Yeah, I don't think I opened this one before. Yeah, this is for an Apple 2GS, Justin. And I need a flathead screwdriver. Yeah, there are three tabs along the side. I'm just uh, making sure this is moved. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not exactly a professional. Joe, what? <laughs> what are you? What are you doing, Joe? <laughs> Is Joe having a? Joe's having a stroke. Joe's having a stroke. <laughs> you okay, Joe? Do you, do you need some medical assistance? Ow. <laughs> I don't worry, folks. I'm aware of how much of an idiot I look like at the moment. The irony is not lost, at all. Solder fumes. Okay, you should probably seek a medical professional's opinion on that, Joe. This is like uh, 2001 and the monkeys and the thing. Dun, 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 dun. Content match. Oh, come on. I know, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that does not work. That's why I want to open it up.
Yes, check your smoke alarms and your carbon carbon monoxide detectors for uh, bad batteries. While this idiot tries to figure out how to open a 30-year-old power supply. Well, the YouTube comments in this are going to be fantastic, I can tell you that. You were doing it wrong. Yeah, no crap I was doing it wrong. Ah. I mean, come on. <laughs> How hard could it be, right? Oh, God, this is such an unflattering camera angle. <laughs> oh, God. You're killing me. Oh, God, you're killing me. I mean, it kind of wants to come out. Yeah, this is going to turn into one of those 45-minute streams of just me doing this, isn't it? Oh, what the hell? How hard could it be? Oh, I see. I see. Maybe. Nope. Hey, Wells, please help. <laughs> please help. <laughs> By now, one of my fabulous moderators could have linked me to a, like a, a guide of doing this. But, you know, why bother helping? myself and no one to throw in the towel folks well that's for Uh, sorry. Uh, but, 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 well, thank you, Adam. That's helpful. This guy used a hammer. I'm not going to use a hammer. What? It just comes off like that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's stupid. It's just supposed to come up like that. There it goes. I wasn't prying hard enough. Ugh. This, just, this just comes off like that. Just like that. All right. I certainly was not inside of this power supply. The fuse looks okay. Look how pretty. No worries, Adam. It's fine. So this is an Aztec model AA13581. A A one three five eight one. So there is a reefer cap in there. <laughs> I guess it'll be okay. That's fine. Well, we learned something today. 
And by we, I mean I did. You bend this metal back just a wee bit because I bent it the other way. There we go. Yeah, I see I have I have two 2GS systems. One doesn't turn on at all, and I assumed it was the power supply, but I could be wrong. So let's just find out together, shall we? There we go. Let's put all these screws back in. Yeah, I hope... Would, did your power supply look like that, Mike, with just the one reefer, or did yours have the four reefers like mine did? That's right, the last PS the last Apple 2GS power supply I worked on was yours, Mike. Yeah, it was just like mine, I believe. Wait, do the screws go there? No, they go over here. I'm going to plug it into the Apple 2GS and we'll turn it on that way. Is that to everyone's satisfaction? Oh, it's upside down. I'm an idiot. I was like, why isn't it fitting? Now, I do have a SCSI card in here. I will be taking... I will be taking the SCSI card out because, God forbid, anything happened. Just taking the SCSI card out. As far as I'm concerned, that's the most valuable part to me. It's the only one I have. Hello, Reed. I got this SCSI card from the dead Apple 2GS I was referring to previously. And I got that, uh, I think at a thrift store somewhere. All right, so we just have the uh, memory expansion card and the power supply. Uh, this will do composite video out. Am I correct, Adam? Right? It's not anything trickery or any anything that I'm misremembering. Uh, it's the Apple SCSI card, I believe. Apple copyright 1989. Apple computer part, excuse me, part number 820-0153A, 820-0153A, assembled in Singapore. That's all she says. And fix the power connector. Let me fix the power connector. That's fine. 
It's in there. I don't know what revision it is. Just says 1989 on it. If you can identify the card, good on you. Oh no, I know the I know the power connector on the board is not seated properly. I know that. 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 That's why I was fussing with the tool to trying to get to seat properly. It's very stubborn. No, I'm not gonna turn the I'm not gonna turn it on with the power connector like that. Don't worry. This is an applied engineering uh, memory card. So that's pretty neat. I'm testing you. <laughs> <laughs> Revision A SCSI card, okay. Applied Engineering GS RAM 2. Copyright 1990. All right, now I can get to this card better. This connector, rather. It's just very stubborn. You know, it's it's... This plastic is just not, it's its going in the right way and everything. Hmm. It is in right. The notch is right there. And that's, that's how it's supposed to go in with the notch and the, the pin. It's just not. Oh, I see, there's this little component that was blocking it from going in. There. Now we're all good. Oh, I had it aligned properly, Adam. I'm not that stupid. Yeah, God, give me a little credit here, guys. Okay. Um... I have a little monitor here. Ugh. Hello? Hey, what's up? Well, I'm streaming right now, so, um, is that okay? Promise me you'll get something to eat, I'll pay for it. I'm sorry. I could, I could do earlier, just let me know what you need. Alright, I'm sorry. Okay, alright, I love you. I had I had a display. I'm just hold on. I'm trying to think. Um, and I have this little composite TV, but there's no way for me to prop this up. It doesn't have it doesn't have a, a stand. Um, has a mount. I was using one of these arms for it. Yes, I know I have to flash the floppy on you. Oh, boy. I had, I had, I like just picked up a little TV. It drive me nuts. No retro. All right, give me a second, guys. Let me let me take a look. Oh, that's right. This this stupid Vizio one. Ugh. 
has composite video in. All of $10 at Ye Olde Thrift Store. Um, where the hell am I going to put this thing? Uh, shifting things around to make space. Justin, here's your floppy drive. I'm very sorry. I got to get that back to you. I am a moron. Okay. Ow. Hit myself with my own cable. We're gonna plug this stupid brick into. Look at this stupid Vizio brick. Yes, I do have a floor that I can walk. What is your most challenging repair job? Macintosh Portable. Pains in the butt machines those are. Um, I guess I could use that. No, no, that's too bulky to plug in. Um, crap. Well, I guess I'll use this. Uh. Because it's Vizio, they were too cheap. Is Vigo? Alright, so we have a television. We get a composite video cable. Nope, I thought one was there. It was not. Awesome. Hold, please. This will do. Nope, it won't do. Alright, this will do. The rabbits wouldn't do anything if I even asked them. They they are little silly guys and they do what they please. Why am I using the crummy chair? <laughs> My butt's going to be sore after this. Okay. Let's hope this power supply doesn't explode, huh? Let's turn on this TV first. Is Vizio! Oh, where's the... No. Sure, don't label any of your buttons. Why would why would you do that? Are these buttons? Okay, we are on AV input. Okay, well, I hope this works. If this blows up, it's all Adam's fault. Three, two, one. Hey, look at that. Check startup device. Right, we're going to turn you off. Get a 
keyboard and mouse in here. Well, thank you so much, Adam. Let me go grab that. Utopia Graphics. There's an extras and then there's a regular. I guess I'll just download the, the regular. Okay. So I'm just trying to scroll up and my finder window is being dumb. Ugh. Finder! I'll do it this way then. There we go. Dance your cares away. Worries for another day. Let the rabbits play. Down at Mac 84. Down at Mac 84. Down at Mac 84. Capacitors blow up. Everything smells like rotten stuff. La, la, la. All right, let's see. Uh, YouTube graphics. Okay, cool. So, um, oh, well, I'm very glad she does. They are very fuzzy bunnies. I had to clip their nails today, and thankfully they did not kill me. All right, so, <laughs> um, you're only looking at half of me. Hi. Um, I should use the second camera. Duh. What the hell were we not... Oh, is it... You still have 89 minutes of battery left. You're fine. All right, let's do picture in picture. Fun. Oh, we should swap that. We, we, <laughs> we want the other one there. Uh, there we go. This one. Will be that. Oh, God, I look terrible. Oh, God. I hope you all caught me in my cameo, my very, very expensive cameo at uh, a Canadian computer collector's video. No, that's not going to work. Uh... Okay, what I meant to say was I hope you caught my very, very... Uh, expensive cameo at Dan the Com Canadian computer collector's video. <laughs> that was fun. And we're all, we're we're audio <laughs> our audio is out of sync because OBS. You know, I don't care enough to fix it. I'm sorry. It's just gonna bother all of you, isn't it? Until I get back to like the one screen. Why why am I even doing two? Why am I even? What is that? Anyway, we'll just we'll just stick to this. Uh, <laughs> sorry. It's like, well, we're, we're uh, lagging now, too. Oh, OBS. You know, you, you never disappoint me. Ever. And we're just going to keep transitioning until it fixes itself. Oh, come on. It's getting worse. Getting worse. Getting worse. Um. Huh. Uh. Whatever. All right, I'm gonna download the floppy MU firmware. Yeah, when I switch between things, OBS doesn't like me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, where's the firmware? Firmware, firmware. Uh, Model C, I think, is what I have. Normal edition? Yeah, I think I have the normal version. I would, I would guess.
Uh, OBS is so bad to compare to the PC one, it's very annoying. Yes! Yes, Zone Tunes. Thank you very much for, for <laughs> preaching there. I I have a, an i5 PC under this desk, just unplugged, and I'm so tempted to just use it for streaming because I'm going to I'm going to um, exit OBS and I'll come right back. See, now it's fine. Now it's perfectly fine. Do you have that resizing bug on macOS? Uh, there used to be a resizing bud, a bug, bud. There used to be a resizing bug, and um, I think it's fixed. Hopefully, I'm back now. <laughs> if I'm not, that's that's gonna be a problem. Oh uh, boy. I'll wait for people's confirmation, because Joe said I was gone, and now I'm scared. All right, so we downloaded the firmware for the Apple II. Uh, I think I could adjust that. I don't think that's a problem. All right, I'm back. Excellent. Okay. But uh, thank you very much, Zone Tunes, for stopping by. I don't think I've seen you here before, but thank you very much for joining. All right, so I'm going to just copy this over here. We are going to make beautiful art. It will all be worth the wait as long as this power supply can handle it. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking at the uh, floppy MU manual to see how to do the firmware change. Because I forget. It's been a while. You know, I open a PDF and I want it to open. <laughs> I want it to open on my desktop like a normal human being. And what does it do? It opens in the damn browser. Sorry guys, one second please. Why can't I find this? I feel like an idiot. You're welcome to ask. I, I might not know the answer, uh, Zone Tunes, but uh, somebody may. Okay. There's tons of pages about firmware updates, but there's no instructions of how to update the darn firmware. Oh, boy. Is it possible to throw a higher clock 68040 into a quadra, specifically a 660 AV, like a 40 megahertz one? Or that does require a hardware modification? Uh, you should be able to. Uh, that's I had a board right here um, no yeah if it let me see what what mine's clocked out yeah mine's a 25 megahertz one theoretically I think you could I think you could put that in there you might have to adjust something on the logic board for it to detect it properly or something like that I'm not entirely sure to be honest with you I've never done that before but go to tinkerdifferent.com tinkerdifferent.com There you go. Uh, there's a great forum there with a lot of smart people. So, yeah, there might be a crystal or something you have to change. It might not just be as easy as a swap. But, uh, if anybody knows, it'll be somebody on that forum. Thank you, Adam. My goodness. Yeah, that's the... Wait, that's the stupid instruction that I had. Hold on. Let me open this in a non freaking browser. Because whenever I open a PDF in a browser, it's just like... Opening up with the Acrobat version three. Uh, 
All right, firmware, search. Installing firmware, thank goodness. Okay. Special copies, is it up, is it up, choosing the discount each of them. The instructions for the firmware are included in the readme.txt. Sure. Don't put it don't put it in the instructions for the floppy emu itself. No, put it in a separate file. That's gonna help. Oh, boy. Well, hopefully somebody can give you a good answer on that zone tunes. That'll be fun to, to check out. Alright, sorry guys, we got distracted there. I'm going to get the SD no no fault of anybody in the chat. I got distracted. I'm gonna take out the SD card here. And I'm going to plug it in to this little adapter I have here. And we're going to copy the firmware to it, hopefully, maybe. Does this stupid adapter not work? That would just be my luck that this SD card adapter doesn't want to work. And, uh, you know what? That's just one of those days, folks. One of those days. Yes, I am, Bruce. Welcome back. Because peer pressure. They told me they wanted to see the graphics tablet work. And I said yes. <laughs> Read, Miss Seymour. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, so there are... Two pieces of firmware here, it looks like. I guess I should... Uh... Yeah, I just had to find the instructions, which was not easy to find, unfortunately. I was looking for the instructions and I didn't realize they were in the stupid thing itself. All right, but we do have the readme file here. So I put the uh, files in there. I'm going to eject that. Oh, I don't have the stupid adapter. There's the 19 pin adapter for the floppy MU. I have no idea where the heck it is. This has not been a worthwhile stream. Because this only has the new floppy controller port on it. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I remember finding that adapter when I was cleaning up and going, "Oh, that's where it is. That's important. I'll put it. I'll put it over here." And I don't remember where I put it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I There's so much crap on my desk. Who knows where it could be? Uh, poopy. It's not in there. Uh, just give me a second, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, 
Grab a disc card from the 2E and put it in there. Yeah. Yeah, let me let me just take a look at my desk. I, I'm pretty sure it's like right here. Because where else would it be? <laughs> Don't answer that. So I wasn't playing. I wasn't planning on playing around with the Apple II today, or I, or I would have, you know, actually had something maybe planned properly. Um, here's a grappler. Yeah, that doesn't help me now, Adam. I know you know that. Uh, boy. Scuzzy stuff. Um, got blue scuzzy stuff. That's not it. Well, there go a bunch of screws. Those looked important. By the way, everybody wish Bruce to feel a little bit better. He was a little bit under the weather. He wasn't feeling too hot. Everyone tell Bruce to feel better. I'm sure he'd appreciate a bunch of strangers telling him so. Oh, come on. Uh, hey, Dave. Oh, boy. <sighs> I, I had the stupid adapter here somewhere. Let me, let me look in the little drawers I have here. I'm sorry, guys. This might take a little bit. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky at finding things recently, so let me just take a few minutes and see if it's where it should be. I found a SATA the IDE adapter. That'll come in handy for that stupid G4 tower. We need a light bulb.
<sighs> Retro techie, quiet. doesn't help that I moved my entire desk and setup twice over the past six months. I really need to do like an organization stream or just actually just sit here and organize peacefully. my other camera <laughs> Elemento I tried I tried I tried well I have no idea where the heck it went it's probably somewhere right in front of me and I can't even see it Found a firewire drive. That one's good. Ugh. Damn it. I already looked in that drawer. Well, I have no clue where it is. I'm sorry for wasting everyone's time. I just am really not set up to play around with Apple II stuff, so as much as I wanted to get this graphics tablet to work, I think it's sort of like a lost cause, because uh, I am entirely not set up to do this. Um, oh, <laughs> hi. I'm still on the stream. Um, sorry. I don't, wanna, I don't want this to end in a disappointing way. Because that would just be disappointing. Oh, Steve gets frustrated and leaves the stream. Um, spanning between screens. It's not fun. Where is this? Where'd the freaking thing go, man? I was like dragging one tab. There it goes. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. We're back. We're back. It's probably somewhere. Yeah, I, um... <sighs> One second, please. Well, I don't have the caps for the old Apple II. That's, that's the problem. I have an Apple II uh, E just sitting in the, the car. Um... I just I don't know where that is. Um, I, it's probably best I dedicate like an entire stream just to the Apple II. Uh, <laughs> I need like five million Air Tags, Elemento. Um, I'm just trying to think how we could do this. Just trying to think. I don't want to give up either. Trust me, I'm a very stubborn person. Um, 
<laughs> Where did the OBS window go? Oh, crap. I don't even know what you guys are seeing. Sorry. Oh, it's me. Um, I need air tags for my air tags. I had an air tag just reset on me. Out of the blue. It was on my uh, keys. And I just... I don't know what was going on, but uh, it said, Oh, a new air tag can be detected. And the battery was fine. So... I don't know what the heck happened. I had to, like, re-register it. It was the strangest thing. <sighs> yeah, I don't, th I don't think that would be easier, Nick. <laughs> I think, I, I think, I think adding, uh, adding SCSI into the equation is only going to make this worse. <laughs> oh, God. That would be awful. I mean, it would be hilarious, but it would be awful. I know as soon as this stream ends, I'm going to tear apart this this place and look for that stupid thing. Is it in here? Yeah, Mike is not coming out this way. Unless he has a reason to do so. Um, okay, back to back to trying to think this out. I have an Apple IIe somewhere. But then how do I get the disc to that? Well, I have this adapter. All right, let, give me one second. Let me let me take a look at something. Talk amongst yourselves. Be right back.
Oh, it is freezing outside. Absolutely freezing. Ooh. Okay. Somehow, we're going to get this to work. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah. So, Adam, you're saying I could plug the floppy MU directly into one of these headers? Is that correct? Okay. But you said we have to plug it in correctly. Pin one would be so would that be accurate? The red line. Yeah, the ribbon is touching the PC bit. So pin one is signif uh, signified by the red line and the red thing. Uh, the pin two and one are, are marked on the PCB there. All right, cool. Now, I don't know if it, if this works. I really don't, but we'll find out. Now, you said uh, slot six. Is that correct, Mike? Okay, so... Have it plugged in into slot six. Right, so I'm gonna have to run the uh, firmware reset procedure on here first. Let me open that up. And I do have to pick up my way from the train station uh, in a fairly brief amount of time. So you have to start the TGS with option held down to enable the slot. Okay, we'll do that right now. Enter control panel, set system standards, continue restarting the system. Enter control panel, why the heck not? All right. Oh, no SD card. Yeah, I left it in the damn system. Thank you, Floppy Emmy, for telling me. All right, one second. Let me uh, read this instru these instructions. Hold down the next. Right. AVR microcontroller CPLD firm. Wait, which one do I do? Well, I guess I'll next and previous. Updating firmware, please wait. All right, wait 10, 50 seconds for the process to complete. Status LED will be flashing. Result, success. Part two, hold down select. Please install firmware part two. Okay, so hold down uh, select and previous. Press the reset button. And it's flashing. All right, cool. <laughs> it would have helped if I actually put the damn uh, SD card, uh, the frickin' disk image, onto the SD card when it was plugged into the computer, wouldn't it? That would have been awesome. Would have been awesome. Yeah, I wish so too, Elemental. That would be a, a killer feature. All right, let me just plug this SD card back in here. Uh, go to Apple II stuff. Go back to this Utopia Graphics. Alright, we're going to eject that. Now we're cooking with gas here, folks. Hopefully. It was supposed to be an earth gathering kaboom! Okay, so the floppy MU is plugged in. Um... Adam, is there anything I have to do on this screen? Uh, for the, uh, go to the slots menu, okay. 
disc port. Let's change both five and six to your card because the tablet goes in slide. Okay. Your card. Your card. Okay. Yes, I, I'm sorry, Adam. I was catching up on the chat. Tom, that is a very smart idea. I got a second one, but I gave it to Mike. All right. Uh, I do not know which ROM it is. Um, all right, so we're going to hit save. ROM version 01. Okay, cool. There, now we know. All right, so I'm going to turn this off. And I guess I will... Let me switch chairs first, because I have no idea why I'm sitting in the very crummy chair. i sitting in the smooth chair that supports my butt. Good luck, Joe. We're all counting on you. Okay, so... I believe this is set up correctly. Alright, so here's the... Uh... Oh, that's right, I have no battery. I gotta do that again. Okay, I will. Alright, so I'm gonna put this in slot 5. And here's the cord for the pen. And here's the, the big graphics tablet here. Uh, probably soonish, 20 minutes. So when the stream abruptly ends, that's why. Okay, let's, uh, this is a very awkward setup, folks. I'm sorry, but this is the best I can do right now. Okay, and then load the disk in there. Oh, I forgot. What's the um? What's the the thing to do the thing? And the reset on the two GS. I always get. It. Oh, jeez. Um, the disk is inserted. I forgot how to make it do the thing. PR six. Thank you. That's right, slot six is what we're looking for. It's reading! Oh, you stupid camera. It's, it's blinking. Track zero read, and it's taking its sweet time. It is, it is taking its sweet time. Track zero zero read, and it's blinking. I hope that means it's happy. Do I have to change the mode? of this? Wait, don't I have to change the mode of the floppy emu? I haven't used an Apple II mode in forever. I thought there was a mode we had to change it to. These be in 5.25 mode. Okay, hold on. I wouldn't see the image if it wasn't. Choosing disk emulation mode. To change emulation, place the file recent, wait for the title screen to appear on the right. Press select button. Floppy emulation display menu. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is in Apple II 5.25 mode. Turn off computer. Okay. Oh, 
have to get to the, the menu again. Nope, I did the test. <laughs> This is getting old real fast. Hey, I remembered. Well, we're almost there, Bruce. I think. Maybe. Someone tell Grudy to stop texting me. Oh, Grudy. It says it's reading from the disc, but... I don't know if I trust it. <laughs> there is no battery. <laughs> there is no battery. Hey, that's great to hear, Joe. There is absolutely no bat battery in this machine. Uh, my floppy MU is not happy. We might have to pick this up at another time. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh. I mean, I don't think it's actually reading the disc here. Unfortunately. I don't know what it's going on. What? I don't know what is... You know what I mean. Maybe. Um... All right. It's doing the exact same thing. It says idle. Now it says read. I mean, hey, the, the floppy controller could be dead. I don't know where it came from. It came from e-waste. I have a feeling this floppy controller may not be good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, Mike. Yeah, your card, your card. For slot 5 and 6. Well, my card, your card? Yeah, it's just your card. My card, your card. Everybody's got a card. Yeah, I mean, it acts like it's reading the disc, but... I, I think there's something wrong with the controller thing because I can't even see your stream. This, the, my stream. Your stream. My stream. We all stream for ice cream. It's just sitting here saying read and it's not advancing on the track. So I, I think that uh, we may have to call it here, folks. Because I'm not having any luck with this right now. And it, although I would love to get into ADT Pro at this moment, um, those were in the car. I ran out to the car to get the floppy controller, Bruce, because it was the only thing easily accessible. And it is 27 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It is a bit chilly. It's a bit chilly. But, um, yeah. I will try Drive 2, I guess, if you really want me to. But I don't think... That's going to make much of a difference here. It is cold, Bruce. Very, very cold. Alright, let's try this again. 
Drive two will not work at all. Thank you, Adam, for your, your your optimism. I trust you, but just because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm going to act like I don't trust you. But it's just it's just poor acting on my part. Extremely poor acting. Yeah, it's not even seeking, it just says idle, so. Yeah, it's very cold. Very, very cold, so. All right, so, um, what I will have to do is make a disc of that software. I would love to do an Apple II stream, um, but it's Marchintosh. Doesn't that prevent me from doing that? I don't know. Uh, this lovely graphics tablet is absolutely beautiful. Just look at this thing. It is heavy, too. It is very heavy. Look at look at the serial number. Unfortunately, the, the sticker is a little messed up. Isn't that cool? Oh boy. Well, uh. yeah, yeah. I have too many windows open here. I don't know where I am. There we go. Sorry, my screens are all messed up. I don't have my my usual uh, screens up here. Oh, what did I click on? Um, yeah. So I really want to use this thing because ever since I showed it off in that video, which has done very well, I almost got three thousand views on this silly thing. Um, it is a beautiful tablet. I would love to play around with this. Love to play around with this. Um, I have to replace some of the tape here to hold this down. But I think this is really excellent. Um, no, I said 20. Well, it's 25 now. It got colder. <laughs> it got colder. Oh, boy. So, yeah. I mean, the tablet card is plugged in. There was no magic smoke from that, so that's good. That floppy disk controller might be bad. So, who knows about that. Um, yeah, I should do a whole video about this. That'll be fun. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, the graphics tablet was from my friend Chris. Uh, it was in the video I just did about the van full of e-waste, Dave. So if you didn't see that, check that out. But um, he got it um, and uh, asked if it was something I wanted. And I said, yes. And uh, he gave it to me, which is very nice. I mean, I, I paid for his transport and everything because he didn't have a car. But um, yeah, I don't know where that is, Adam. That's... <laughs> No, I have, a, I have a better chance of fixing the Quadra 840 AV than finding that adapter, Adam. That's saying something. Um, maybe I'll uh, set up ADT Pro and get uh, get some actual discs made if I can't find that adapter. But I'm not doing that right now because that's going to go to another rabbit hole. <laughs> yes, Adam, I already got the alert on my phone. Thank you very much. Um, I will. I will... I meant to find the adapter for you down the street. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. But, um, well, we're about, what, three hours and four minutes in here? I guess that's that's a good stopping point. Um, this is really cool. I can't wait to play with it. Um, I will. I was not planned, I was not set up or planning for any Apple II stuff today. Um, so, I mean, that's my excuse for why this was a failed endeavor. And it's my fault for not knowing where that little adapter is. So... That's going to uh, come back to haunt me, and I just need to clean up my desk. Maybe we'll do a Patreon uh, live stream where you can heckle me while I clean my desk. Let me put this down over here. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're reading my horoscope. Bruce is going to stream, right, Bruce? No, Bruce isn't feeling well. Bruce is not going to stream. Uh, at least this Vizio TV I got for $10 worked. How about that? Anybody have any questions or any fun things? I have a, an iMac that I'm going to do a video about that's behind me that you can't see because it's covered by a uh, G4 machine. Um, yeah. mm. Bunny rescue shirt. That's right. I rescue bunnies. Bunnies are cool. I love them. Um, wait, Adam streaming? Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll play around with the Apple II a lot next month. That'll be something cool to do, because I, I really I don't know much about the Apple II. Can you tell? Um, and so that'd be fun to learn more of. Can, can you have the tablet? No questions about having the tablet. We'll be entertained. Oh, boy. Anyway, 
You have a new channel. Well, put the link in here, Adam, and let's all subscribe to it. Come on. Let's do it. Paste in that YouTube link in here, Adam. And we'll all watch you while I eat my very belated dinner. <laughs> Did you get the other Mac portable work working, board working? No, the third portable board, which is my friend Chris's, it's not doing anything, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yay, there's Adam's channel. Adam's channel is called Adam's Apples, and I am the fifth subscriber. I feel very blessed. I think you have to jump through some hoops before you can do a live stream, Adam. So you might have to, like, confirm an email address or some silly stuff like that. What is that computer TV tray back there? Oh, that is a Power Computing Macintosh Power Center Pro clone. Uh, so that is hanging over there. It's just chilling. So subscribe to Adam's Apples on the YouTubes, as Joe would say. Um, we're going to try and do a quick and dirty window capture here. Showing, oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Subscribe. 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 See, I, I'm already subscribed. But uh, go to Adam's Apples. The link is in the chat if you just missed it. Um, yeah, the chat doesn't have any content yet. But subscribe. He might, he might feel like doing some content. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, anyway. Um, do you ever play shuffleboard in your basement? No! Do you think there's room to play shuffleboard? No! You are silly if you think so. Absolutely silly. Anyway, folks. I have to go uh, get some long pants on because it's cold outside. Because I have to drive to the train station to pick up my wife. <laughs> I left you questioning there. Now, um, you'll make a video later. <laughs> I see it was all ploy to get the subscriptions. Well done, Adam. Well done. Um, I will not be streaming tomorrow unless I do during the day. So we'll see if that happens. Um, I'll probably be streaming on April 1st because Ron sent me something silly. And um, I'm assuming it's something silly. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I will uh, message you, Adam, uh, tomorrow. So no worries. And uh, thank you very much for subscribing and the super chats thank you garth and anybody else who gave me a super chat eat if i didn't eat you thank you very much and um like subscribe all that fun stuff i do have a, a, a non-live video that's going to be released uh friday or saturday whenever i get uh to that and yeah that's gonna be it um i don't know if i'm gonna attack those boards just yet vintage hillbilly shack i have a ton of stuff i need to get done before i tackle something brand new but it will be it will be in the coming future i can assure you uh, but that's about it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, have a great rest of your day and Apple II forever. <laughs> See ya. Bye.